Welcome to this video on ODE solving. In our first example, we'll demonstrate how to solve a first order ODE in MathCAD Prime. The ODE is given here and below the initial condition. You can write either y prime or dy dt, but in either case, it's most important that you use the operators panel in the math tab to enter the prime operator or the ddt operator. So here we have the prime operator and here the ddt here called ddx operator. The simplest way to solve a differential equation in prime is to use a solve block. So let's insert a solve block, just copy and paste the equation and the initial condition to the solve block extend it a bit. All we need to do is to call the ODE solve and assign it to a function name. So ODE solve y of t comma 20, where 20 is the endpoint of the solution interval. We are solving here from 0 to 20. Let's call the solution y. And that's it. We can use y to calculate values, y of, for instance, 5. We can use y in equations, and we can plot the graph of y. But first, we must define the range t from 0, 0 0.1 to 20. So let's insert a 2D plot, plots, insert plot, xy plot t and y of t. Our next example is classical, the second order spring mass system. We will not discuss the modeling here, just solve the second order differential equation. In the guess values section of the solve block, we have assigned values with units to the mass, the spring constant, and to the damping coefficient. In the constraints section, we have entered the differential equation along with the initial conditions. Here it is most important that we enter the correct units to the initial conditions. Well, here it is quite obvious. X is the displacement measured in inches, x prime is a velocity and must have the unit inches per second or something equivalent, for instance, feet per second. The ODE solve command is more or less the same as in our first example, but there is one important difference. The interval endpoint must have a unit here, seconds. And we can graph our solution. If we want to draw graphs for different values of m, k and c, we must solve again using new guess values, but we can do it better. We can parameterize the solve block. Let's see how. Let's delete all the assignments and add m, k and c as parameters in our solve block. Now let's define a new function called capital X, colon equal X of the mass, the spring constant and the damping coefficient we used before. So And the graph, we have to change x to capital X. And we'll see exactly the same graph as we saw before. Now, if we want to use different values, it's very, very simple to change them. Like this. 
In our last example, we will demonstrate how to solve a coupled pair of differential equations. They are coupled because y of t occurs in the first equation and x of t in the second. As before, we will not discuss any modeling here, just solve. So to solve this, again use ODE solve. Here, we must use a matrix to combine the two solutions. So go to the matrices tables toolbar, insert a matrix x of t and y of t. And the interval, comma 30. Assign it not just to one function, but to two functions inserted as a vector, x and y. Everything is as before, almost. We have drawn the curve x of t and the curve y of t in the same system. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.